Welcome to DC Digital Learning. This is BSc Mathematics Real Analysis class and in this class we are going to discuss Convergence of Improper Integrals. Convergence of Improper Integrals If the integrands admit primitives in terms of elementary functions, then testing the convergence of improper integrals becomes fairly easy task but every function does not possess a primitive in terms of elementary functions thus arises the need for more advanced methods for testing the convergence of improper integrals with such integrands some methods for testing convergence of improper integrals is given here p integrals comparison tests absolute and conditional convergence tests general test of convergence or cauchy's test abel's test dirichlet's test these tests will be discussed in upcoming sessions in detail test for convergence of integral of f of x dx from a to b at a where a is the only point of infinite discontinuity theorem a necessary and sufficient condition for the convergence of the improper integral integral of f of x dx from a to b at a where f of x is positive on semi closed interval a b closed at b is that there exists a positive number m independent of epsilon greater than 0 such that integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b is less than m for all epsilon in open interval 0 b minus a proof since a is the only point of infinite discontinuity of f of x in closed interval a b therefore f of x is continuous on semi closed interval a b closed at b also f of x is positive on semi closed interval a b closed at p which implies for a less than a plus epsilon which is less than b that is for 0 less than epsilon which is less than b minus a f of x is positive and continuous on closed interval a plus epsilon b which implies integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b equals a times epsilon represents the area bounded by f of x on closed interval a plus epsilon comma b and the x axis which implies as epsilon tends to zero from right that is as epsilon decreases a into epsilon increases since the length of the interval increases which implies limit of a into epsilon as epsilon tends to zero from right equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b as epsilon tends to zero from right will exist finitely if and only if a into epsilon is bounded above which implies integral of f of x dx from a to b will converse if and only if there exists a real number m greater than 0 and independent of epsilon such that a into epsilon is less than m which implies integral of f of x dx from a to b converges if and only if integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b is less than m for all epsilon in open interval 0 b minus a this completes the proof note if 
for every m greater than 0 and for some epsilon in open interval 0 b minus a a into epsilon is greater than m then integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b is not bounded above therefore integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b tends to plus infinity as epsilon tends to 0 from right and hence the improper integral integral of f of x dx from a to b diverges to plus infinity some remarks here in case f of x is negative we can replace it by minus f of x for testing the convergence of integral of f of x dx from a to b in the above theorem the case when b is the only point of infinite discontinuity of f of x on closed interval a b can be dealt with in the same way now test for convergence of integral of f of x dx from a to infinity at infinity theorem a necessary and sufficient condition for the convergence of the improper integral integral of f of x dx from a to infinity at infinity where f of x is positive on closed interval a t is that there exists a positive number m independent of t such that integral of f of x dx from a to t is less than m for all t equal or greater than a proof let big f of t equals integral of f of x dx from a to t since f of x is positive on closed interval a t the function big f of t monotonically increases with t and will therefore tend to a finite limit if and only if it is bounded above that is there exists a positive number m independent of t such that big f of t is less than m for all t equal or greater than a therefore integral of f of x dx from a to t is less than m for all t equal or greater than a note if no such number m exists then the monotonic increasing function big f of t is unbounded above and therefore tends to infinity as t tends to infinity therefore integral of f of x dx from a to infinity diverges to infinity some remarks here in case f of x is negative we can replace it by minus f of x for testing the convergence of integral of f of x dx from a to infinity in the above theorem the test for convergence of the improper integral integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to b can be dealt with in the same way that's all in this video thank you